bomb on Hiroshima, that everything that I had written is now obsolete. And then, of course, they went on the year group and they, they uh, came up with a book, and then he joined Brand and you know the people like Aman Khan and others. At the end of the day, uh, luckily, neither Khan's theory nor Schelling's theory were actually tested. So let's say something about the idea of deterrence. Well, let me follow up from what Brigadier Salik ended with. He said that uh, you can't think of nuclear weapons as a panacea. It's not something that's going to give peace. But let's now step back 20 years ago when actually we thought exactly the opposite. We thought that nuclear weapons were the guarantor of peace and that nuclear weapons would give Pakistan now permanence in the region and would allow it to prevail over India. And do you remember Nawaz Sharif saying, Ab hame koi meri aankh se nahi dek sakta. To ab to sabhi meri aankhon se hame dek rahe. from general academics and what nuclear weapons have done in the post-war scene and come specifically to Kashmir. What nuclear weapons have actually achieved there is to freeze the status quo. Today the line of control has become effectively, because of nuclear weapons, the international border. This is because India does not have the, the means by which to militarily compel Pakistan to vacate Azad Kashmir. And we, Pakistanis, do not have the means to evict India from what we call Indian 